In Nibo, you can create three types of notebooks. Notes for freely writing your thoughts on an infinite canvas. Documents for structured word documents. It can convert all your handwriting to text in just a few taps. And PDFs that you can annotate. This review focuses on everything you need to know about documents in Nebo. Hey guys, it's Rob Seepak with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Nebo is available on Windows, iPadOS, Android, and Chrome OS. Its cost differs depending on the operating system you're using. You can access your notes on pretty much any device you pick up, which is perfect if you don't want to be limited to a single ecosystem. Documents in Nebo are ideal for structured content. They are a way to handwrite Word documents for those that dislike typing. The document paper template is lined with a few page color options. You can adjust the font size and line spacing to widen or narrow the lines on the paper template. For what Nebo is used for, those options are enough. You can handwrite or type your notes in Nebo. You can mix your handwriting and text in your words, sentences, and paragraphs. The application supports the use of both active and passive styluses. An active stylus is easier to work with though. For your handwriting, you have three pen types with six fixed sizes. You also get a testing window to try the different pen options without wasting time going back and forth from your notes. Handwriting in Nebo feels smooth and it doesn't lag. The app perfectly captures how your handwriting looks on paper and it can recognize the most illegible scribblings. Nebo's instant character recognition lets you preview your handwriting conversion in real time. You can correct errors as soon as you spot them. But if the preview annoys you, you have the option to turn it off. The app might struggle with converting some technical terms for subjects like medicine, pharmacy, engineering, etc. And for that, the dictionary helps the app to learn those technical terms to improve your conversion. The only problem is you can only add one word at a time. We're still waiting for the ability to add multiple words at once. Nebo's Smart Highlighter makes highlighting important parts of your notes a breeze. We love how it transforms to look uniform throughout your notes, no matter how thick or thin the highlighter is. You can erase individual letters, even for cursive handwriting, or pixels at a time. Your eraser has six fixed sizes and it works on both handwriting and text. The app lets you add lists, photos, sketches, diagrams, equations, and note sections to your documents. Multi-level lists are very easy to create in Nebo. They are much simpler to indent in Nebo than they are in word processors. The app supports a decent number of bullet points and numbering options that you can just write yourself which means you can mix bullets and numbering options as you please. The downside to this flexibility is that the app can't automate your numbering or bullet points like a word processor does. You can also add checklists to your notes, which you can tick off, but the app doesn't dim or strike them out. Checklists feel incomplete in Nebo. Sketches are for items you don't want Nebo to convert, or those you know that the app can convert. 
Mixing hand-drawn sketches with type notes in your documents is cool, and there's a place for it. So we love the fact that Nebo has this feature. Diagrams ideally are drawings you can convert. This feature recognizes most regular and some irregular shapes, arrows, and curved lines. We're still getting some errors in 2023. We are also still missing autofill options for our shapes in Nebo. Nebo converts maths and chemical equations using LaTeX, which will work for basic to intermediate math problems. The app can also solve your math problems if you like. Simple maths, of course. You can also add photos from your photos library or take one with your camera. Your photos don't have any options in Nebo, which is very limiting, especially because you can't rotate them. The notes section is a smaller canvas like the one you get with the note pages in the app. It therefore has similar properties and features to those of the infinite canvas, which we'll cover in a different video. For all the items you add in Nebo, you can resize and rearrange them in your notes. The last tool for your documents in Nebo is really just a text selector. It therefore lets you format your selection to make it bold, underlined, struck out, or highlighted. It can also indent it and change the color of your ink. We're still waiting for a hex code system to help us pick more accurate colors in the app. You can choose to convert small paragraphs at a time or the whole document at once. It helps to think of documents in Nebo as word processors of sorts. That is why it has options to create paragraphs, titles, and subtitles, which is something you typically would see in a word processor. Taking notes in documents is so flexible, you can even add space between sentences. You can search both your handwriting and text without any problem. The search tool in Nebo is very simple, but navigating long documents can be a bit of a problem. If you have too many terms to search through, it will take a while. Nebo can export your notes as plain text, PDF, Word documents, or Nebo format. The best option to share notes with others who don't have Nebo is using PDF and documents. So those are the options we'll focus on. You don't have any control on how your exported notes look in Nebo because the app doesn't have any distinct page sizes. I find the app fits too little information on pages, leaving too much blank space. If you have diagrams and sketches, you risk having them cut off at the most inconvenient places when you export them out of Nebo. That is more annoying than the blank spaces. For your PDFs, you can export your handwritten notes without converting them to text. The handwriting remains searchable in other note-taking apps like Noteform, which is awesome. Word documents exported out of the app also remain editable in word processors. You can share your notes via the internet by creating a link for them. Your notes can either be public or private. Your colleagues can either view these notes on the web or download a copy of them. You can easily update any changes you make to your notes. However, for now, this remains a one-way sharing channel in Nebo. People can only view your notes but can't collaborate with you. And that brings us to the end of this review. Let us know what you think about documents in Nebo. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.